Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman, and welcome, uh, Secretary Johnson. Um, I guess I'd like to, uh, first of all, start out by saying that I am uh, disappointed, um, sad, that you are not going to announce in the coming weeks. Uh, the President said that he had instructed you to do a review uh, and to humanize our deportation processes in the next 90 days. So I was waiting um, for a couple of weeks to give you time to finish that review. I want to make that clear. I uh, was in Richmond, Virginia yesterday. I wish my colleagues on the other side of the aisle had been in Richmond, Virginia with me. They would have met a woman who has a GPS ankle bracelet, two American citizen children, and I assure you while she may have because of the ankle bracelet, you might have thought of her as a criminal. I saw a mom. I saw a mother of two American citizen children. And she said, please help me, and I'm going to help her. And I hope you do too, Mr. Secretary, continue to help people like her uh, from this broken immigration system. I met three other women there, and there were reporters that come from Washington, D.C. And one after another, they told me about their broken families. We met a young woman, beautiful young woman, uh, 18 years old, been here since she was six, spoken two language. Clearly, the United States is their home. And so I simply say to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, I hear you. You want to talk about law and order and law and order and law and order. And I'm for law and order, but I'm also for compassion and justice. And we can find a way where you can have your law and order, and I think we can find a way where we can have justice and compassion too. People make mistakes. There's a broken immigration system. We should find a way. I get, I, I, the day before that, I was last Friday, last Saturday, I was in Riverside with Tecano. And the day before that, I was with Loretta Sanchez on Friday. That's how I spent my memorial weekend, going and visiting. And everywhere there was the cry, Mr. Secretary, from people being deported, from families being devastated, from a community saying, get the work done. So I wanted to simply say to my colleagues, look, we don't have to do it the way the Senate says. But I think we have to do it. And let me just say this to Mr. Secretary, while I'm disillusioned, I'm conflicted too, because I think it's a pretty grand gesture on the part of the President of the United States. I think, in my opinion, it's a pretty grand gesture on his part to say no to me, to say no to those mothers in Richmond and that I met over the weekend in Riverside, to say no to millions of people who support him, voted for him, cherish him, love him, and have protected him. For him to say no to us because he wants to say yes to you, because he wants to reach an agreement with you. I think that's a pretty grand gesture, especially when I have seen the kind of disdain that some members on the other side of the aisle have showed for him. I think it's a pretty grand gesture. And my point is, I, like the President of the United States, want to work with you. I respect that you are the majority party in the House of Representatives and therefore get to dictate how it is things proceed. But I beseech you that there has got to be a way that we can find some commonality. And I want you, Mr. Secretary, to understand that I want to be supportive. When you guys talk about criminals, 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 you think we like criminals? I want to find a seamless process in which you commit a violation of the law, and if you're an immigrant in this country, you pay the price here, and you're seamlessly deported from the United States of America. I don't want them here either. But the only way we're going to reach that is if we fix the system completely. Because unfortunately, when you talk about felonies, that they're felons, it is a felony to re-enter the United States of America once you've been deported. Who on the other side would not re-enter this country to regain your relationship and your love with your wife and your children? Which one of you would not re-enter illegally this country? Every one of us would. We love, I've, I've had dinner, I've sat down with members of the other side, I know how much you love your wives and your children, I know how much you cherish your families, I know what you would do, and I think you know what I would do. So let's simply find a way where we can find law and order, and some compassion. And lastly, I just want to say this. Mr. Secretary, I'm so happy this is the first hearing. I hope to have many, many more in which I actually ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Mr. Secretary? Look, 
maybe you don't need my advice, but I know you're going to be just fine as secretary because you come from a great family tradition. And I know one day you're going to see your grandpa again, and he's going to be very proud of when you were secretary of Homeland Security. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon and this morning. Chair, thanks, the gentleman. Recognize.